All right, so this video is an instructional video for building a low tackle bag. Um, specifically, this tackle bag will be good for learning how to chop tackle. So if you're looking to practice any other type of tackle, this bag will probably not be ideal. So it is specifically for that purpose. You can use it for rugby or football tackling. What you're gonna need is first um, an army duffel bag. This one is 21 by 36 inches. Um, I'll post the link below so you can buy the exact same one. We have three um, contractor bags. They're th uh, 40 gallons each. Um, three um, bags of rubber mulch pellets. And each bag is 0.8 cube feet or 22.6 liters. And we have some old clothes as filler if we need it. And you're gonna need one roll of duct tape. So first thing, double up the first two bags. And then we're going to put some filler in the plastic bags before we put the plastic bags in the outer shell. So for this, just get something to hold the bags in place, which will make filling a lot easier. If you have someone to help you, um, it might not be a bad idea, especially once you handle the rubber mulch, which can sometimes go all over the place. All you need is just a little bit of weight in there, which will make putting the bag in the outer shell a lot easier. This next part, you're going to have to be a little bit patient. As you fill this bag, we're going to do it in gradual steps. Kind of see how the bags fill up and see if we need to put some filler in between if we run out of volume with the rubber pellets. Again, ideally you have a partner that holds the bag open for you. If you do not have a partner, it shouldn't be a problem either. You just have to go slow. Okay, so as far as volume goes, it looks like three bags of mulch will just will be enough without you having to use any filler. Now we want to make sure that everything on the inside is sealed. So we're going to double knot each individual bag, and then we're going to put the extra bag on top. <clears throat> Make sure all the air is out. <clears throat> it doesn't have to go all the way down, you just want to basically cover the top opening of the other two bags. So just make sure it's snug, but you don't have to push it all the way down the bag. Now 
Okay, now so to close this particular back, we take this latch, um, fold all these three holes over top of each other, and the latch, which will close the top of the bag. Like so, then you take this hook and just clamp it in. Now we're going to tape all of this down so that there are no moving parts on the top of the bag. I want to tape all of this shut too so that <clears throat> nothing will ever fall out. Be generous with your duct tape here. You can't use too much duct tape for this part. Okay, so once everything on top is completely covered with duct tape, we'll just go around the sides a few times. Try to go a little bit below the end of your duct tape, just so we can hold that in place. Okay, so make sure the entire bag is covered in duct tape, um, which will, you know, waterproof it. Still try to keep it as dry as possible, just because of the cloth underneath. As you'll see, this bag um, is perfect chop tackle height, right? It's about knee level for me, and I'm 5'9". Um, so stay tuned for the next video, and we'll show you some drills and how to actually work on your chop tackle and how it relates to the real deal.